I will finish this off tomorrow guys just so you know this is how people the illegal reptile smugglers make their traps to catch bobtail lizards snakes uh, endangered marsupials frogs all different types of animals guys and they'll smuggle them overseas in their pockets through postal tubes and that kind of stuff so it's really really sad I've actually come across a patch of bush just near Dumbyong with a heap of buckets I didn't really it's quite a while ago I didn't know what they were when I first thought, saw them I thought people were growing marijuana but anyway I went back about probably six months later and they were gone but they were actually used for reptile smugglers really really popular amongst uh, Asian people guys and uh, Eastern European people will come over to Australia and set up traps they'll catch, capture all their reptiles and then they'll um, smuggle them overseas like I say in their pockets in their luggage or they'll send them via Australia Post in postal tubes and so forth it's disgusting guys like those bobtail lizards what I do videos on all the time one of those bobtails there's thousands of them around million probably hundreds of thousands anyone can pick them up they're so tame and you know but one of those bobtail lizards will sell on the black market for about four thousand US dollars guys so it's yeah so it's pretty sad and this is exactly how they make their traps just like this so but anyway be interesting to see what actually falls in look just seen guys a bush cockroach so even one of these guys even a bush cockroach guys will sell sell for like bloody probably even 20 30 50 dollars who knows so hopefully you can see that guys So that is a bush cockroach and very collectible guys that's what I mean They'll, these smugglers will capture anything to make money so it's a beautiful species of bush cockroach so anyway I'll let him go guys he's gone They're quiet, aren't they, when they chomp? Yeah. Can you just see here, fellas, those kangaroos we just saw? Mm. You just see how the fence is still moving? So, you might have just seen before some kangaroos right here. This is where they went under the fence. A couple of kangaroos jumped over, but two, one, two little joeys went under the fence. So, that's what happens, guys. They'll be lazy and they'll go under the fence and sometimes they'll jump. But anyway, guys, just going for a walk with Dave. My old mate, go for a beautiful walk. And Right here, that's kangaroo, is it, or sheep? Mm -hmm. Yup. Foxes are completely stripped it, ants. So you can just see there a beautiful blue tongue lizard fellas right on the edge of uh, this beautiful lake. So there's going to be so much food for these little fellas. It's going to be absolutely amazing. The worst thing I suppose about all this wildlife too, guys, and I ask people out there, is to please be very, very careful of uh, wildlife smugglers. If you ever come across... Um, when you're walking in the bush guys you ever come across buried buckets in the sand uh, just a completely uh, submerged like for example white bucket and there's nothing inside the bucket it's just completely level with the ground they're usually reptile and animal traps 
So just be very careful guys because these bobtails here sell for an absolute fortune on the black market probably three or four thousand dollars uh, each and people do get away with smuggling, smuggling these guys they'll smuggle them um, in their pockets on aeroplanes or they'll send them via uh, Australia Post overseas but a lot of people do get caught I've done videos on these bobtail smuggling before fellas but it's because these bobtails are so common they're just literally everywhere, tens of thousands. You come across them all over um, the southern part of Australia, not just in West Australia, but also in the eastern states. Um, and the people who normally smuggle them are Asian people. So keep an eye on if you ever see any suspicious Asian people walking in the bush. doesn't matter whether they're male, female or kids, their parents. They might be totally innocent, but please, whatever you do, guys, I cannot stress enough, get their number plate if you can, or ask what they're doing, especially because wildlife smuggling in Australia is one of the worst ever things. I'll tell you a story, guys. I went to Athens when I was backpacking around Europe, uh, back when I was around 25 years of age, and I went to Athens, and I come across walking in this buddy market or down the street and inside this pet shop guys was the most saddest and most disgusting sight I've ever seen the pet shop was full of all wildlife uh, not just from Australia but from the Amazon monkeys uh, cockatoos from Australia uh, reptiles from Australia snakes you know rodents marsupials everything there was birds um, in so much so much stress, just animals in so much stress guys, they'd lost all their fur from rubbing against all the cages and everything else, it's an absolute disaster what these bloody awful smugglers do, they're such, worth such a huge amount of money so I cannot stress enough guys, please keep an eye out for suspicious people walking in the bush, we're going to see a lot of people in the next uh, year or so, so whatever you do, you must report it so, billion dollar industry guys reptile and animal smuggling all right see you guys and here's a bobtail lizard fellas you can just see all oh, the bones in it beautiful you don't really see that too much because these bobtails their skins are like leather oh it's like a fossilized bobtail lizard beautiful don't really see that too often guys. It's a nice little vine.